This is a Casco Star 5 arcade from the late 1970s, early 1980s. We're going to zoom in, get a good look. One of the interesting features is that as the fighter pilot gets closer to the surface, it appears much smaller. We were just attacked a moment ago by the aliens who surrounded us with light beams. Uh, you can see the altimeter to the left. When we get into the red zone, that's when we're permitted to attack. I'm controlling right to left the lateral movement by way of foot pedals. There, I just scored. When the aliens strike, then points are actually deducted. You'll see the word danger, and that means that the aliens are within striking distance. I'm in the red zone, but it also means that I'm able to fire upon the surface and score. Let's zoom in again, get a look. There, I just scored. It's a timed game, and I lose points when I turn to a red fireball and I strike the surface as well. And that is the timer. Uh, I only register a score of 400. Points were deducted. Let's have a look at the cabinet. Hit the lights. It's an environmental version. There is a uh, an upright version as well. Neither of which are seen all that often. Rather scarce game. Here's the foot pedals. One on each side, controls the lateral movement. And then the uh, joystick controls the height, or rather the altitude, ascending and descending. Unlimited number of shots during the fixed period of time. High score. And coin slot. Speakers are actually well placed, nice vinyl, comfortable chair, uh, sufficient for an adult. I'm six feet tall and I have adequate room. Graphics which are reminiscent of Star Wars. Uh, actually Star Wars and Star Trek, I think that these designations refer to planets uh, or other structures in the solar system. Well, I played a lousy game there, trying to demonstrate. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration nonetheless.